Hello everyone, this is Liz with EC QuickBooks Training. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to enter Postmate sales in QuickBooks. So let's get started. Now from Postmates, um, what I usually get is the payments or the payout information. Now I don't know if Postmates has something that you can sync with QuickBooks. Uh, what I usually uh, do is get my client to just export the information into Excel and then I just enter it in QuickBooks. And I only do it for um, for the payouts. I don't do each individual orders, um, although he gives me both information. But what I really need is the payout information because the payout information or the net payout is what's going to match with the bank feed when it comes through um, the banking section. Now in this Excel sheet, we could see the date, the order, number of orders, uh, the total commission to pay to Postmates, taxes and fees, promotion cost, uh, any adjustments, disputes, hardware fees, any returns, and then of course the net payout, which is what we need. So if we go into QuickBooks, um, I can show you um, exactly what I do. So I have already set up a sales receipt with this information. I created products um, in the products and services section. Um, and I have sales, Postmates commission that goes to advertising or commission. Um, and then fees, as you can see here. I just write in the description what the fees are. And I separate it just like um, it has it separated on the um, Excel sheet, just to keep everything consistent. Okay, so let's just say that total sales was like 150, and then everything else after that is going to be a negative because we're actually deducting all these transactions or all these fees from the total sales. So let's just say the commission was $100. We wanna put negative 100. Hardware fees, $10. Promotions, let's just say it's 40. And any other adjustments, I don't know what any other adjustments could be. Maybe something within Postmates, let's just say it's $10. And then I use cash over and short um, because sometimes it is over or short due to, I think it's the decimal and it has to do with um, sales tax what um what postmates charges could be off by a fraction of a cent or something like that so sometimes it's over or short and that's why i have that here just so we can keep track of it i can also enter the exact tax here from postmates but i think i i would prefer for quickbooks to calculate it and then have an over short in order for this to be exactly the same. So let's just say this is 770.74 is the net payout. I would just go negative 01 cent. <laughs> so we'll keep QuickBooks calculating the taxes because I do use QuickBooks for my sales tax. And then I just make an adjustment there. And then that's how I can get the payout into QuickBooks. Um, in order for it to match to my bank feed. So once my bank feed comes through, I can match it to this sales receipt. That's how I record Postmate transactions in QuickBooks, and you can do this in QuickBooks Online or QuickBooks Desktop. Um, and that's what I wanted to share with you today. I hope that this helps. Please don't forget to subscribe for more how-to tips and tricks and troubleshooting for QuickBooks. I will see you in the next one.